Hi, uh, my name is Valentin and today I'm going to talk about hard drives. Um, the reason why I want to bring this up, um, in today's life we have to have something to be recorded on, to be stored on, to be kept on for future. And um, as you know, I'm with photography, videography, cinematography, my drones work. So I do have to have um, all this technology to make sure I preserve my data, whatever I've been recording, it's remained to be kept safely uh, for many, many years. So, and today I wanna talk about it briefly. We're not gonna go really into details, but I just wanna share the way I keep my data uh, safely, how I do my backups and a bit of um, what is inside of the hard drives. At the beginning let's talk about this SATA drives which is our very commonly used in our desktop um, and you know they've been with us over 50 years and slowly evolving in technology however you know they're still not that great as SSD but you know we'll talk about it one thing at a time. So with the hard drives you know, um, it's basically a data storage device. It has a spinning disk inside where that data is stored magnetically. It's sort of legacy technology, you know, comparing to SSD, solid state drive today. And, um, you know, but the configuration of the motor in HDD comes in ball bearing, you know, and fluid bearing. So um, we just, you know, fluid bearing, ball bearing, they are, uh, you know, uh, still not comparing to SSD, not that fast, although, you know, so the roller bearing are very sensitive to um, impurities, which are result of, you know, um, roller balls. Uh, it's basically a frying during the operations where all the solution was found in the fluid bearings. So the roller bodies has been replaced by thin layer inside and it provides uh, better performance the main advantages with uh, fluid bearings is the you know spindle rotation becomes more stable with higher RPM and significant reduction of noise level during HDD operation. Maybe perhaps sometimes you you uh, you feel or you uh, I mean basically uh, you heard the sound you know at the time when your HDD is spinning you can feel that the crashing sound sometimes does happen. So this is exactly why they have to have replaced it to get lower noise for the smooth operation and rotation of the disk. And as of today, the big troubles with the hard drive is the basically the jammed spindle, you know, uh, and there's a different factors why this could have happened. Um, very common um, when people basically, you know, record stuff and keeping on the hard drives. Um, some do cross-check you know on the images and data that has been kept here or maybe just keep updating for some they have uploaded this data here and it's there on your shelf for many many years and this is where the trouble comes you know because of the um, oil layer you have to have activate the hard drive spinning just to, just to make sure it continue working you know so if it's been kept on your hard uh, on your shelf for quite some time so eventually this is where the jump further will happen because you know for a long time there was there was no rotation uh, very common sometimes uh, when the troubles happen with this you know hard drives um, it's the faults or shock you know that they experience you know due to i don't know misplacement or it was not on even table or who knows maybe someone you know just drop it accidentally and this is um, where the jump spindle does occur and plus, I just mentioned, you might experience the grinding noise. Um, and basically, this is the most likely indicating a severe head crash. And, um, and there's nothing we can do about it, you know. Um, there is a way of process, and a quite long process, to recover uh, your data from the hard drives. But it's not always um, possible. So you really need to pay attention to this. So, uh, if you look at them, the computer storage decision can be simplified by, um, you know, segregating your hard drives as cold and hot. Uh, what I meant to say is, um, cold data might include that years of photos you want to keep in your laptop. 
but you know, you, you, um, you don't look at every day and you don't need the access to it. So in this case, HDD can be an excellent cost effective choice of call data. You don't really have to have them on your you know, desktop all the time. So if you want to store something and keep it aside, you don't have to go on a daily basis and check what is in and out, you know, keep copying and deleting the files. So maybe this is not appropriate and this will, I mean, probably not practical and, you know, um, this is not the right selection of the uh, keep your data. So probably maybe SSD is going to be much better. So um, you will need to decide uh, and prioritize for cold or hot data to be accessing. SATA Drive 3.5, uh, it, it can be for your cold data where you keep the stuff and you don't really have to go in and out as frequent as maybe you, you need it. But with the hot data, I would definitely recommend to have SSD. You know, so this is the SSD drive and it gives you better performance uh, even when you're burning files, especially when you do video or any graphics. With SSD you have much faster speed and this is more reliable and safer. Yeah, definitely safer. And the reason why it's safer because you don't have a rotation uh, disk inside. So that's why this is just a solid state. It's like a motherboard where, you know, it's like a chip where the data comes in into it. Um, with the SATA drives, you, that's why they're so bulky, because they have to have that uh, spinning mechanism. So that's the only choice and reason why they're so sensitive to any fall. Um, and you have to be really careful with them. That's the only reason. So, you know, just to say that SSD in general are more reliable than HDD, which again is a function of having no moving parts. And, um, you know, that's because uh, without movement, you know, SSDs are, aren't affected by vibration or, you know, related, uh, you know, thermal issues. So I've been um, having uh, these hard drives from, uh, I would say, over, yeah, from 2015. Uh, and the warranty usually goes up to two to three years maximum. However, so far, I've been looking after them and, you know, um, probably every three months, I do connect them to the computer and try to run look at the data, check the files, if everything can be, you know, extracted safely. Although, um, with me, you know, not really paranoid, but I usually I copy data to, uh, from one drive to another drive. So if something happens to one drive, I got another drive. Um, this is just in case. Um, after all, it's all mechanical, you know, and uh, let, let me tell you a little bit more about it. Um, so, with, with the hard drive, it's, it's it's a bit different than SSD, as I mentioned earlier. And the main downside is basically, you know, is, you know, it's a power hungry. It's uh, generate noise, you know, produce heat and don't work nearly as fast as SSD. And perhaps big differences is that, you know, HDDs with the similarities to record player, um, ultimately, it's a mechanical device. Um, if you remember those, you know, um, record players, actually they are there, uh, people still using them, you know, when you put the records, you know, you know the disc starts spinning and you put a needle hand and you know, basically it's record, not recording, it's basically it's playing the sound, the music. Uh, now these days it's all digital, you know, memory cards and, you know, nobody used those record players, but some still do. And I have a few friends of mine who, they have them at home. Anyway, so that's the only thing. So. With the hard drive is the same, you know, it's like a record player. And after long years of operation, you know, it depends how you're looking after. So eventually the needle will get damaged, you know, it's uh, wearing out and you, you know, there is no way you can, you know, play the sound unless you have a new needle. So this is the same thing with the hard drives. Um, so over time, mechanical device will wear out and it's not a question of if, it's a question of when. It definitely is going to happen, you know, sometimes soon, sometimes later. And it all depends how you're looking after your hard drives. So this is very crucial. Um, if you have this in at home, so make sure you continue maintaining them, you know, and definitely try to backing up all the data from one to another. You know, comparing to the hard drives with the SSD, you know, there is no mechanical device, you know, like I mentioned, it's just like a, a motherboard. And Believe it or not, but it do fail sometimes. The each memory bank has a finity life expectancy, you know. 
a limit on the number of times it can be written to and basically uh, you know, read from before it starts working. Um, logic built into the drive tries to dynamically manage you know, these operations to minimize problems as expected its lifetime. So um, you really still have to be careful with SSD. Um, and I always suggest um, every time when you connect to the computer, um, before plugging out or before the pulling cable out, make sure you safely remove the hard drive. Um, I've seen people just doing it, you know, plugging and plug out without actually safely managing to, you know, click and remove the hard drive from the system. And the reason why, it's basically even with these drives, um, it will go for some time, it will allow you to do so, you know, if you, you know, just stop the computer working or you start the operation. So this is very essential every single time you need to plug in and plug out. If it's continue to be, you know, plugged in and you're switching off or you're switching in or you're pulling out, eventually it does has effect on this drive because it does not belong to the system in your computer. Um, so I do recommend, no matter how many drives you do have, Please make sure every time when you connect to the computer, you're plugging it safely out. So that is very essential. Which one you're going to go for, it's up to you. It's based, I think, again, on requirements, you know. But for me, you know, for, uh, for the person who, you know, in video photography, you know, you know, I always have at least two drives. They're coming along with me. So one copy, another copy. Some people I do know, they even put the stuff on a three hard drives just to make sure nothing happens to the data. So if something happens to here, we have here. If something happens to here, we have here. So the disk management and data management is essential. And I'm going to leave it to you how you want to do it and how you want to manage it. But just remember, if you want to recover those photographs or videos, you know, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, make sure you do look after and investment, you know, essential, again, yes. So remember about the cold and hot data, you know, if something to be kept but not frequently look at, so probably maybe this is going to do. However, try, if you have budget allowing, you know, go for the, uh, you know, 2.5 and uh, see if it's going to work for you. SSD prices are coming down these days, uh, although the limitation is the storage. You know, with, with these drives, we have four terabytes, six terabytes, uh, sometimes um, even more, I guess, you know. Uh, this drive, oh, sorry for that. Uh, this one is, has 10 terabytes. So, although it's the same, after all, is the same mechanism, is the same hard drive, so, and it's the same, you know, the spindle, which is basically rotating and the needle is looking for the right um, uh, path where the, your videos or photographs or your data being kept. So, it doesn't do really much if you're going to upgrade to from, I don't know, so if this is the 4 terabyte and you upgrade to 10 terabyte, after all, it's the same. It's the same SATA 3.5 inch inside of that. Yeah, so, it's definitely going to be cheaper than getting SSD with the same size. It will be very expensive at these days. Although, I don't know when you're going to watch this video, you will see that SSD slowly is dropping down in price. So um, I do recommend have this in your list, shopping list. Maybe the Christmas, maybe whatever the occasion, have several of those. It's going to save your data for a longer time. So let us talk about the um, pros and cons of the hard drives. So um, now, here they are. Okay, well, um, with the pros, you know, it's a budget friendly, uh, lots of space storage and standardized size make repairs and replacement easy. As you can see, comparing to SSD is very small, very complicated to get into it. Uh, with the hard drives, just to remove the shelf and you're there, okay? Now, with a cons, um, it's definitely use a lot of power, noisy, you know, moving parts make them, you know, prone to wearing out over time. Definitely slower than SSD. And it's up to you 
which one you're going to prefer, which one you want to keep. Just make sure you, you know, look after them. Now, how about SSD? We still have pros and cons with SSD and, um, you know, I just want to cover it up as much as I can. So with SSD, um, which is, as you can see, comparing, this is the one terabyte Samsung T7. Uh, there are many on the market. It depends on the budget that you have. But I've started using them over a year ago since, um, you know, the cameras, the coding, it's, and uh, bits of the videos are go higher. So you, I need something, you know, for better processing and faster processing. That is a more important thing. So it definitely has a big difference with, you know, with the hard drives, 2.5 and, you know, SSD. So uh, essential on speed, essential on rendering time. So if you, similar to myself, when you have to do like a lot of videos, graphics works, uh, 3D animation. So um, definitely you have to have a SSD in your system, whether it's in your computer already or it's external as this. Okay, so um, let us talk about the pros and cons of that. We have the pros, it's faster than uh, hard drives, that's for sure. It don't generate noise, use less power than HDD. Uh, wide range of form factors, yeah. And very important, there is no moving part. So again and again, it's just a, like a one motherboard and nothing else. Um, no mechanical device whatsoever, okay? With the, um, with the cones, it's, um, it's definitely, as of today, it's a less storage, um, you know, um, because having this one terabyte and having this four terabyte, if this is about $70, so this one will cost $100 at the moment with one terabyte. So imagine with the four terabyte, what the price is going to be. So this is a bit disadvantage now, and many prefer to have this sort of discs with them in, um, you know, in the back. Another con is that uh, can be expensive, exactly, and difficult to recover data if it fails. Uh, I have not covered this yet, but yes, this is true. Um, it, this, is, this is very essential. Like I mentioned, uh, with the hard drives, you simply just open the shelf and remove SATA 3 drive, you know, you can actually open the lead and reassemble everything very carefully. There are services available uh, with several companies who does it. Uh, so they can try to fix your hard drives and try to recover data. So with SSD, it's a bit complicated. And I think this is where you, again, have to think about it before purchasing it. Although, again, a failure on this SSDs are very minor, very rare, and mostly, you know, your computer will be outdated before something happens to you, um, to your uh, to your SSD, you know. So think about it; it's up to you. Having your raw files ready that you can review ten years, five years after depends. It's always good to have in a local storage. So that's why I advise if you record something on one, get copy on another one. If you're really paranoid, as I get copy on a third one. And that's it in this case, you're supposed to be safe. <laughs> anyway, if you have any comments, please talk to me, share with me, leave the comments below. If there is something that I have not covered, apologies for that. Uh, it's just a you know, quick review the way I handle my you know, data management. And um, I wish you safe storage and stay safe. All the best.